Welcome to Mission Celebration Day. Today we're just going to give the Lord glory for all that He's doing, not only in our midst, but across the world. So there's a lot of special things planned for today. So how many would be willing today to say, Lord, here I am, send me? Because we all have a mission field. We all have a place that God wants to use us. So today, let me just encourage you. There's some things happening with some of our children. Just be watching out. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Take your freedom to worship the Lord today. But today, we're going to celebrate. So this is a non-religious day. So everybody clap your hands. Yeah. Everybody shout. Say yeah. yeah. For those that can, you can even bounce around a little bit. Move, spin around. Do something. Okay, so today, that's how we're going to express the Lord. All right, ready? Jesus, we come before you today. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord, that your name is the only name by which men can be saved. And Lord, we're here to celebrate that name. We're here to celebrate, Lord, your move across this world. We pray, Father God, that you would be in our midst today as we celebrate you and as we praise you and worship you with all of our hearts, Lord, that your spirit and presence would be in our midst in Jesus' name. If you agree with that, give him a shout of amen. Clap your hands.
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Cover the earth with your glory. Cover the earth with your presence, Lord. Cover the earth, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for this next generation that is willing to take the word of praise across the world. Church, would you help me welcome the River Kids praise team as they come and help us worship the Lord today. One, two, three, four. Who's ready to worship Jesus today? We're gonna be like David when he, when they were bringing the ark into Jerusalem. We're gonna give a shout of glory to God. So who's ready to worship?
All right. Praise God. We bless your name today. Great job, guys. You can go. Hallelujah. I love the, Jesus said, in the mouth of babes, God has perfected praise. This morning, as we, we're going to worship kind of just one more moment today. And it's a little different today because I was hoping we could kind of turn a corner. It's great to be able to celebrate, to jump and to dance and to sing and all of that. We're very blessed in this country. We're very blessed in this church. But that's not the case all over the world. Sometimes it's important for us to remember why we're praising, why we're jumping around, why we're celebrating. It's because of the salvation we have in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you know, one of the famous scriptures we like to quote, especially being Pentecostal and allowed, is, is Isaiah chapter 6. I saw the Lord, and he was high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple, and the doorposts of heaven were shaken. And we, 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 we celebrate the, the power and splendor of our God. But have you ever realized what happens in the next verse after that description? It's a call to missions. It's a call to evangelism because after all the greatness that God is, all of the, the hype, and, and it's legit, don't get me wrong, it's all of the excitement, God says, who's going to go for me? I need somebody to go for me. And the prophet looks and he says, here I am, Lord, I will go. So we're going to worship to this song. It's called The Cause of Christ. And I usually don't set songs up because that's not what we do at this church, but today I wanted to do that because this is a song that is a prayer. If you're bold enough, if you're willing, Sing this song with the lyrics as a prayer because that's what the Lord is looking for. The, we can't, we don't have words in our vocabulary to thank God equally to the sacrifice that he made. Amen. We don't have a physical gift to give him. The best gift we can give him is, our, is us, our hearts, our minds, our lives, our soul, everything. So this morning we're going to sing this prayer. Thank you. 
Give these guys a hand. <laughs> Looking good. This is our celebration of missions. And I'm going to try not to get emotional because I'm so proud of these kids because every single kid knows what country flag they're holding and why we're holding these flags. They're not just pretty pieces of fabric. They're countries with missionaries in them right now that we are supporting every single month. Every flag represents a missionary that your money is going to right now. Every single flag. It's absolutely beautiful. So some of these missionaries, all of these missionaries, they include, we're gonna have some pictures up, up there for you guys can see. And we have Jennifer Pasquale. Pasquale, she's in Italy. She is, she is leading the charge with a ministry school in Italy. Go ahead. We have Alison Garza in Greece. She is reaching out to the student populations, which is almost 100% atheistic in Athens, Greece. She is reaching out herself. She's a 24-year-old young woman who is learning the language as we speak so that she can reach out to college students in Athens, Greece. We have the Hasselbrings in South Africa. We just got back from a mission trip with them. We just had a team with them. They are building tabernacles for remote villages that don't have a place of worship. And they said, that's okay. We can, we can make a place of worship. We can have some people come from the States and make a place of worship, people who don't have anywhere else to worship. We have Chris Payne. He is, he, him and his wife are with Chi Alpha of University of Michigan. They are helping. Yes, there we go. <laughs> they are helping college students find their path, find what it is that God has called them to do, where God wants them, and also to help them to stand firm in their faith in a place where it may seem like nobody else believes in the same God as them. He is helping them know they're not alone. We have Stephen Kenny Brew here in Inkster, Michigan. <laughs> starting a church plant. We have Adult Teen Challenge. We hear from them every single summer. Adult Teen Challenge is helping people break addiction, break the chain of addiction by housing them there and helping them through the entire process from getting clean to finding a home and finding a job. We have the Marins here in Dearborn, Michigan. They run Hope International. They run a, a house for Syrian refugees to learn the language, to get a home, to feel safe, and most of them are Muslim. And they say, we don't care, God loves you. Come here and find a safe place to live because you have nowhere else to go. We have our Malones, they are in Africa. They are in a disclosed location because they reach out to 100% Muslim population. We are not allowed to disclose where they are in Africa. Pray for them because they have their four young children with them. We have Light for the Lost. They are translating the Bible, distributing the Bible. Without Light for the Lost, China wouldn't have Bibles. We'll just, we'll just leave it there. Without them, without your support to Light for the Lost, the underground church would not have their books to read from. And that's who we get to support every month. We have the Briners in Cambodia. They are 
they are just ministering on a floating church in Cambodia that literally comes down the river every single Sunday, picks up some people and goes back. That is how they do church in Cambodia. We have Jamie and Burley Bayo in Dominican Republic. They also have a ministry house. They, they reach out to this, the young teenagers. Most of them are homeless, but they also reach out to help people who speak the language, who are from Dominican Republic. They help them, they get saved and they teach them how to be pastors and they send them right back out. That's what they're doing in Dominican Republic. We have the bakers in Carousel doing the exact same thing in a ministry school in Carousel. They are leading up ministers and sending them right out. We have Sarah Jackson and her husband here. <laughs> They're here on the front row. You get to hear from them in a little bit, so I won't spoil anything, but they are also Chi Alpha, but they are at Eastern Michigan University. We have been supporting them for 20 years about that. Yeah, Miss Sarah, she was Sarah Craigie back then, but she's Sarah Jackson now. You see a few of her kids up here holding flags. She is getting to reach out to the student population on Eastern Michigan University. She will explain, her and her husband will explain more about their ministry later on. We have Convoy of Hope. Convoy of Hope is carrying the team with all the natural disaster relief. <laughs> Pastor Alberto and his wife in Honduras is now passing over the, the five churches they have planted across Honduras over to his son, but they have five churches in Honduras that they are running two services on Sunday and something every single day throughout the week, including one in Florida, which is an extremely remote mountain village. And they planted a church in it and said, here, come on guys, come to church. We have the Smileys in Estonia. They were going to Ukraine and unable to do that, so they're now in Estonia. And they are running a coffee shop that um, it holds Bible studies in the evening. And all of their baristas, just, they just witness all day long. It is absolutely awesome. But they house a Bible study in the evening in their coffee shop, as well as they are doing street evangelism in the college town in Estonia. Church Multiplication Network, without them, church plants would not exist. They, they say, hey, you wanna plant a church? There's not a church there? Here's some money, go do it. That's what Church Multiplication does. We have Mark and Mindy Gertis in Mexico. They run the Angel Child Project in Mexico for orphaned children on the streets of Mexico. They give them a home. They train them up how to do a job so they can go out, get a job, and provide for themselves in Mexico. Project Rescue in Spain is getting people off the streets from human trafficking. They have a brand new branch in Spain. That's who we support. Women and children and men, they are rescuing out of sex trafficking, rehabilitating them, giving them a home, giving them a calling, and sending them back out. The Sellers, Builders International, we just teamed up with them to go to South Africa. Builders International builds churches in remote places. They are currently building a medical facility in Poland that is three stories tall because there is no place for these people to go see a doctor. And guess what? They're gonna fill it with a bunch of Christian doctors praying over their patients. It's gonna be awesome. And that is it. So can I just have you guys right now reach your hand forward to these flags? We're gonna pray over our missionaries because each and every single one of these flags represents that picture we just saw. So dear Jesus, right now, I just thank you. I thank you for River of Life, for their faithful giving. I know that $18,000 has not come in yet, but I know that it will because you've never abandoned us. You have always given us a way to support our missionaries every single month. And I just thank you for the people of River of Life. And God, I also thank you for our missionaries. Guys, just, just pray over these flags right now. Pray out loud. If you, speak, if you speak in tongues, let me just hear that out loud. Pray over these missionaries right now. God, they are surrendering over their entire life to be able to tell people that, hey, Jesus loves you. Lord, I just pray protection over them and their families. We are praying blessings over them right now, over, over the, the smileys in Estonia who are about to welcome their second baby. We're praying a blessing over their coffee shop, over the sellers right now. I'm praying that you would open doors in places that otherwise would not allow God in. I'm praying right now that you would just open doors for the sellers, Lord. I'm praying for Pastor Alberto, that you would help him to continue to plant more churches, continue to spread the gospel for the Maloney's in Africa. God, I pray for protection over their family, God. I pray that you would guide their footsteps to constantly be coming in contact with somebody who needs you, Jesus. Give them the words to speak, Lord. Give them the grace, Lord, for all of our missionaries right now. We just pray. We pray for them, for their protection and their guidance and continued churches. Other churches would be able to support them, Lord, that their ministries would grow financially and physically, Lord Jesus. Amen.
All right, give these kids a hand as they come off the stage.